Hey, welcome back to Lasco Ford. Today we're going to get a chance to take a look at the 2021 Ford Transit Connect. Now, there is, this has been out for a while, back since the 2010, so now we're over a decade into this vehicle in just the U.S. What we want to point out on the 2021 Ford Transit Connect is that you can get it a couple different ways. What we're going to do is a quick walk around of the outside of the vehicle, show you what the interior cargo is looking like, show you how the interior seating is, what the, the heads up display is going to look like, what your interface will look like as well, and just kind of walk our way around the exterior and interior of the vehicle as a whole. So if you want to know about the 2021 Transit Connect, follow me, let's get started. In the beginning on the Transit Connects, they originally came out with this emblem right in the front and that would fold open and then you would take your key that was cut a lot differently than this, more like a Jaguar key, you would put it in there and that's how you popped your hood. Well, that's now changed. Well, things that have changed along with this vehicle is now we have the active grill shutters that are inside of the vehicle too for the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, putting out more horsepower, better torque and fuel efficiency than both of the competition. Now Ford is considering competition on this vehicle to be the Ram ProMaster and Nissan's van that they're offering. Now they've already canceled Nissan, the larger uh, vehicle that they're putting out, the larger van, wasn't really holding up to what we can do with the ProMaster and what we can do with the Transit, the Ford Transit full size. Now you're gonna have two different lengths, which is unique to just the Transit in this class. So you have the short wheelbase or you have this, the long wheelbase at 121 inches. Beautiful thing about that is we now have some options to give the Transit a lot more classy of a look. So we're gonna take a look at this. this is a 16 inch luster nickel aluminum wheel that's replacing the steel wheel. Now, can you still get the steel wheel? Absolutely. This is still an XL package, but the XL package with the trim to make it look a bit cleaner, a bit nicer, and just a little bit more refined. Other things that are offered as well is gonna be this roof rail system, roof rails, right? So the crossbars that connect on these roof rails have the highest capacity in its class for weight carrying. So we can distribute the best weight, we can haul the biggest things, we can take your ladders, take your camping gear, take your bikes, whatever you'd like. Cool thing that we're gonna start out on, we always go usually the other way around. This is, feels like the opposite of NASCAR on this one, but we have dual sliding doors for both the driver and the passenger side for easiest access for whoever's gonna be using the van. So whoever the employee is, if it's a left side or right side for easy, easier access to deliver flowers, deliver bread, deliver whatever type of you know, goods that you're gonna be bringing with you, you can do that. Now with the longest cargo uh, floor space. So at the floor, we have the longest cargo space that you can get. We also have the highest interior volume in this, the 121 inch wheelbase. Also, things that are unique, we can do two different doors in the back, two different styles, I should say, because one is gonna be a barn door style where you're gonna open one and open the other. This is gonna be the lift gate style that I personally like for things like, well, if you went tailgating, you now have an awning for free. It's huge. This door is just massive. So you can easily get in and out of the vehicle, access all the goods, load, unload, without having to worry about what you're taking up as far as side to side space goes. Now, again, we mentioned from the flooring all the way from the front of the driver passenger seats all the way to the back here is gonna be the longest in its class. Now you have the highest amount of cargo volume in its class as well. That's a nice option. And then we're gonna show you a couple things on the interior of what makes it functional to use this vehicle on a daily basis. Other things that I like that aren't really highlights for the vehicle, but it is just nice. Like, look at the back of this, right? It's got these major tie down bowlings that you're able to load and unload as big as a pallet in here to be able to take that 1,570 pounds of payload capability and be able to utilize that to the best of its ability. Well, you found a way to do it, right? Ford Transit, connect, this is the way to do it. So you got huge taillights here, great visibility. Our gas door is gonna be over here on the right-hand side. Then you're also gonna be taking a look at the passenger side having that sliding door that I mentioned a bit earlier. So when you take a look at the side entry of the vehicle too, the door is a massive door for easy exit and entry of any of the goods or products that you're gonna be bringing with you. Or if you're just the guy that wants to go out and you know do your mountain biking, use this as more of a, uh, more of a utilitarian vehicle. 
I even had a, a guy make a comment this morning, I could throw a blow-up mattress in there and be able to camp in there. Well, you absolutely could. There's so many more people utilizing these vehicles for so many different purposes, you'd be surprised at what you're able to use this thing for. Now, a couple quick updates. We're just gonna show you on this vehicle what's not standard with this vehicle. Now, we have an updated Sync 3 rear view camera with HD radio, the roof rails that we mentioned as well. And then we also have a couple extra things, like the privacy glass that's on the rear of the vehicle as well. So that can be clear or it can be tinted. Well, hey, if we bring it in clear, then we can always tint it for you too. That's not too hard to do. Other things that I wanna to mention too is, you can take this seat. Now this is a vinyl seating for the, XL, for the XL package like this on the 2021 Transit Connect. But if you take this little switch right here, you're now able to use that more like a workstation. So if you do bring a laptop or things that need to be adjusted, filed, signed off, receipts, bills, invoices, that whole thing, it's able to be used there without affecting the driver's capability and it makes it even easier for visual seeing what's around you everywhere you go, right? Better line of view. So that's a couple quick things on the exterior of the vehicle. We definitely wanna take a look at the interior of the vehicle as well. Towing capability too, if you're curious on this, it's gonna be at 2,000 pounds towing capability when properly equipped with a receiver on the back of the vehicle. Let's take a look at the inside. Tell me what you think. Hey, all right, let's take a look at the interior of the vehicle. The first thing I want you to focus in on is really the seating, because they stepped it up. I think with the seating, normally you'll, you just think of a vinyl seat covering, and it's not like the double stitch that comes all the way around. You have that seam that comes all the way up and through, go up towards your headrest. You got another piece through here too, a hidden seam in here. I mean, they actually did a really, really good job with these seats. And guess what? They're comfortable and they give you a really good angle. So when you're sitting, your knees are bent really well. Now that's been a, uh, you got to think, this vehicle is used for people to be driving all the time. That's what this vehicle's job is, is to make you money while either delivering. Give me a couple examples. I've sold these and worked with painters, hauling everywhere that they go, whether that's going to be the drop sheets, the paint, the rollers, so on and so forth, ladders on top, bread delivery for our, our bread company right down the road, The Crust, who has bought a few of these as well uh, here in Fenton. Then you've got more, like you've got 1-800-Flowers. They have a fleet of these, right? So they keep on going. Taxi cab usage. So they're nonstop on the road, moving, moving, moving. Now, even going into other things, they make a roof tent for this. Campers, people that are really the outdoor enthusiasts. Yes, this is it. You can fit your kayaks on top, your bikes, your skis, your snowboards, keep on going. Take our key and our key's just gonna come out like this. We've got our unlock for our sliding door, we've got our lock and unlock for the two driver and the passenger door as well. We take a look at the steering wheel, you're gonna notice the steering wheel is gonna be very, very familiar, right? This is gonna be the same style of steering wheel that you're gonna have in the Ford Escape and in the Ford Focus. So they've used this and guess what else? It goes into the Transit full size as well, the big brother of this, the 2021 Transit Connect. When we put the key in, things that I notice, this all comes into life, right? So with this out, it's black. Once we put that key in there, it just, immediately lights up when we fire up the vehicle too. It gives you a nice display on your LCD screen, letting us know that, of course, the vehicle's on, our door is ajar, our passenger door is ajar, all of our doors are ajar, my goodness. But you'll come to this screen. Now that's gonna be showing the XLT. The XLT has the color matched bumpers that are gonna be on the vehicle as well, and that's actually showing a wagon. Now, you have a couple different modes, driving modes. It's gonna be economy and normal driving mode on this vehicle. All of this is gonna be controlled by the left joystick on the left side of the steering wheel. So as I go through and move this, this is going to be showing things like driver's assist, right? So we've got our driver's assist package. We can go into, the, into uh, our favorites as well. We can see our digital speedometer. Uh, we can reset by pressing and holding your OK button. All values are reset. Now we can see how many miles we've driven, how many miles to empty, how many gallons of usage, and just really get a good idea of what that vehicle did for that specific day. Other things that are important, let's take a look at the interface. The interface on this is gonna give us a, let me unlock my, my iPhone here for everyone. So once we get into here, we're using Apple CarPlay, all right? So we now have Apple CarPlay in an XL delivery wagon, are you serious? It makes life so much easier. Now, if we wanna go over to the Ford system, we'll just hit that Ford button. Now this is gonna go through and show us you know, our audio, our phone, our maps, our Apple CarPlay, and our settings. Now we've gone through this on a few of our other videos too. So if you need a little bit more information on that, we can definitely get back into it. Let's just hit our home button here, which we're at. Apple CarPlay flips us back over to our phone. We can now play our Pandora. We can go to our maps that are on your iMaps, or if you want to use more of an Android device. Sorry, tough time uh, focusing on, in on it. Really tough time. I've had a little bit of a... Must well, be because it's how about we do this? I'll unplug, and let's see what happens with uh, the Ford system there. 
camera technical difficulties good enough to go. The thing that I do like though there you is, go, I got it. oh, well you already spoiled my, my fun on this. So down below, all right, so audio, phone, applications, settings up here. If you notice, you see that little charging, little battery charge symbol there? That's because my phone's sitting here on now the charging wireless charging option that is available. So guess what, now I'm not plugged in, it's right here. See that little charging icon there? I don't know if you'll see that yeah. with my finger, right? But if you put that in there, it's gonna tell you your phone is charging, ready to go. Fan speed, one through four. And then we have our heat and cool. We have all of our directional controls here as well. This is where that eco mode is gonna be pushed. You push that eco mode, we're then gonna be in that economy mode. We have auto start stop on this vehicle as well. So as it comes up to you know a red light, a stop sign, whatever the case might be, you're gonna have like it shut off and try and save and mice as much fuel as possible for you. This windshield is huge. I do have to bring that up, right? This actually has an option on this specific vehicle of the quick window defrost. It literally was the fact, I didn't even make it halfway down the lot and the window was already clear and we had nothing but frost this morning. So pellet up little ice chunks on the window and I'm like, great, now I gotta scrape this window. Well, if you look very, very fine at this glass window, I don't know, can you even see that with your camera? But this is all built in almost microscopic um, the whole windshield, the windshield is covered in a wavy line. So when you get a chance to go see a 2021 Transit Connect, you'll see that this windshield, you can see through it great, no problem, but it has a very minute little wiring that goes through the windshield. It makes it so clean, so quick. It's like, welcome to Michigan, you know? Who cares about winter anymore when you got a windshield like that? Let's have a look underneath the hood. Underneath the hood of the 2021 Transit Connect, you're gonna find a 2.0 liter four-cylinder engine that is definitely, well, it's been a staple for Ford on our four-cylinders since we started out with Focuses back in 2001. So now it's 2021 in this Transit and we still have a two liter that's underneath the hood. Well, the cool thing is it puts out more horsepower, torque and fuel efficiency than both the competition in the ProMaster and in the Nissan. So we keep bringing those up for a reason. We are the best of the best, doing the best things in commercial that we can do for Ford. Easy things to, to monitor is clear reservoirs, right? So we've got our brake fluid, we've got our coolant system that's over there as well. A dipstick coming right off the top of the motor and an easy access for us to be able to put oil inside of the vehicle as well. That accompanied with having grow shutter systems to optimize the fuel efficiency of this vehicle is what makes this a great purchase to be able to make your business a bit more money or make your adventures a lot more affordable. This is the 2021 Ford Transit Connect. My name is Paul Zagman. We're here at Lasco Ford. Check out our inventory. We have both the cargo and the passenger versions, the wagons, available right now. It's www.lascoford.com. If you have questions, please put them down below in the comments. We'll be able to answer those quickly. If you like and subscribe, you'll see the next videos that we got coming right down the pipe. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Keep on watching.